one of the really interesting facets of the design of Regenstein macaque forest is the fact that we've got research components built in. We're really going to be one of the most extensive zoo-based research programs on this species specifically. Um, what you just saw was Nara, one of our females, who came in. Um, and she's actually at one of the later stages of training where she's touching a small dot on the screen to get uh, a reward. You know, they've never come in a booth like this before and it's completely voluntary. Um, so she actually started with a very large dot on the screen and if she touched really anywhere near it, we gave her a reward. Eventually we might ask questions like we do with the chimps and gorillas in which they're ordering items, but maybe what we're even more interested in is taking advantage of this side-by-side -side booth to ask questions about their social lives, the degree to which they can understand what another monkey right next door is doing. You think about it a little bit like two kids sitting in a schoolroom checking the other's work. We're um, utilizing sort of this you know, technology in terms of um, providing enrichment and variable feeding schedules here at the zoo. And it's, it's really exciting from an animal care perspective um, in the sense that you can uh, create a dynamic environment, provide multiple feedings throughout the day without having to alter the social dynamics of the social group. Ultimately, we hope that they will learn that these, these lanterns will drop food at variable times. So just like in the wild, you might have to go check a fruiting tree. Is the fruit ripe enough? Do I want to eat it now? Am I going to come back later? Of course, over time, they're going to get more and more used to having crowds watch them be part of this really amazing science. I think this ability for the general public to see this level of science go on in an institution like ours is really important.